Hello class. Today we will be talking about section 10.6 radical equations. Our objective is solving radical equations. So with radical equations you will have square roots, squares, and other roots. And you're going to solve them pretty much the same way you solve equations but the first task you have to do is remove the square root symbol or the cube root symbol or the root symbol in general the first step is you must arrange uh, the equation where you only have a root on the side by itself after you do that then you're going to raise it to whatever root Exponent. So if you had to the fourth root, you'll raise it to the fourth power. If you have um, the square root, you're going to raise it to second power. If you have the cube root, you'll raise it to the third power. Um, so that you can uh, I, um, eliminate the radical. Okay, then after you do that, you simplify. After you simplify, um, and there's still a radical in the problem you need to repeat steps 1 and 2 again then you must let me say it again you must check to determine if your solution you came up is a solution and you'll see more in more detail what I mean about that okay first you want to get the the square root on the side by itself so you're going to remove minus 11 from both sides minus 11 from both sides Okay, you're going to minus 11 from both sides, and then you're going to get the square root of 2x plus 5 equals to a negative 5. Then you're going to square both sides. That'll leave you with, when you square it, that get rid of the radical. So that'll give you 2x plus 5 equals to 25. Okay. Then you're going to subtract 5 from both sides. That'll give you 2x equals to 20. Then you're going to divide by 2. And x is going to equal to 10. Now you need to check 10. So you're going to put 2 times 5 plus 11 equals to 6. And you're going to plug in 10 here. So 2 times 10 is 20, plus 5 is 25, plus 11 equals to 6. And the square root of 25 is 5, plus 11 equals to 6. So 5 plus 11 is 16, 
is equal to 6, which is not true. So therefore, is not a solution. So the answer will be no solution. All right, the next problem. You still want to get the square root symbol on the side by itself. So therefore, you're going to subtract the 3x from both sides. And just remember, you can't combine it with 5 because it's not like terms. Cross that out. Leave you with a negative square root of 3x plus 7 equals to a negative 5 minus 3x. Alright. Now you need to square every both sides by squared. Alright. Here what's going to happen is the negative sign is going to go away and the root symbol is going to go away. So that will leave you with just 3x plus 7. But we got a problem here. You just can't square negative 5 and square negative um, 3x. Remember, husband and wife, you can't separate that easily. So you got to do negative 5 minus 3x times negative 5 minus 3x. And then you have to do the FOIA method. So you're going to multiply a negative 5 times um, negative 5, which is going to give you a positive 25. Then you're going to multiply negative 5 times a negative 3x, which is going to give you a positive 15x. Then a negative 3x times a negative 5 will give you a positive 15x as well. Then you're going to multiply a negative 3x times a negative 3x, which is going to give you a positive 9x squared. Now you need to combine like terms. Okay, now after you do that, what you want to do is you want to um, kind of clean it up. Now, the problem is, what should I do next? Because there's no way your x squared is going to get canceled out and you have an x squared, so this is going to let you know that you're going to have to factor. So you're going to have to set the problem equal to zero. So you're going to get everything on the same side and leave zero. So I'm going to minus 3x on both sides. So that'll leave you with 7 equals to 25 plus 27 plus 9x squared. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you're going to minus 7 from both sides. Go minus from the 25. That'll leave you zero on that side equals to 18 plus 27x plus 9x squared. So we want to rearrange it so 9x squared can be first. And so I'm going to write it as 9x squared plus 27x plus 18 equals to zero. And now we're going to factor. Right, you're gonna factor. So that'll give you okay. Let's look at it. Good. So, hmm. First thing we always should check for is to see if we need to factor out the greatest common factor. So yes, we can factor out a nine. So let me erase. Erase. 
erase this. That's going to give you 9. Divide everything by 9. And when you do that, that'll give you 9 times x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. Now, you're going to keep 9 times um, it's going to be x here and an x here. And factors of 2 is 2 and 1. And that will add up to give you 3. So both of them are going to be positive. And what you have to do is set each factor equal to 0. You know you don't do anything with 9 because it doesn't have a variable with it. So that will be x plus 2 equals to 0. And x plus 1 equals to 0. So you're going to subtract... Um, two from both sides. Oh, sorry. Okay, that gives you x equals to a negative two. Here you're going to subtract one from both sides. And that'll be x equals to a negative one. So now you have possible two solutions but you must check your answers to see if it's a solution or not. I'll be with n 3x, you always check in the original, the square root of 3x plus 7 equals to a negative 5. So 3 times 2 minus the square root of 3 times 2, a negative 2, plus 7 equals to a negative so that's going to give you a negative 2 here and a negative 2 here. So that'll give me a negative 6 minus the square root of, um, that'll give you a negative 6 plus 7, which will give me 1, equals to a negative 5. So you do the square root of 1, that'll give you a negative 6 minus 1, which equals to a negative 5. This gives me a negative 7 equals to a negative 5. So negative 2 is not a solution. Alright. We also have to check negative 1. And 3x minus the square root of 3x plus 7 equals to a negative 5. Okay, so we're going to plug in negative 1. For every place there's an x. So that'll be a negative three minus a negative three, a negative one times a negative, I mean a positive three times a negative one will give you a negative three, and then you minus um, seven, which will give you four, equals to a negative five. So here you get a negative three minus the square root of uh, four is two. So the square root of is gone. Which is equal to a negative 5. Okay? A negative 5 is equal to negative 5. So 5 is a solution. So the answer is um, x equals to a negative 5. Okay? Now, we have another problem that's a little bit different so the first thing you got to realize is you're going to have to get move one of these it doesn't matter which one you move but I'm going to move x plus 4 to the other side so I'm going to add I'm going to subtract 4 
subtract the square root of x plus 4. Oops, sorry, that's supposed to be negative. So that will be the square root of x minus 4 equals to 4 minus the square root of x plus 4. Okay. Now, we need to square both sides. Okay. So we're going to square the, the square root of x minus 4. Then we're going to square all of this. And here, this is going to leave you x minus 4 equals 2. But this, you're going to have to do the Floyd method again because this is husband and wife. And remember, you can't separate them. Right, you're going to multiply 4 times 4, which is going to give me 16. And then you're going to multiply 4 times root of x plus 4 times 4, which is going to give you a negative 4, the square root of x plus 4. And then you're going to multiply... Also, you gotta do it again. So that gives you negative four, the square root of x plus four. And then you're gonna finish it up by multiplying the negative square root of x plus four times the negative square root of x plus four, which takes off the, ra the radical sign and leave you with positive x plus four. Now we wanna clean this up. And how we gonna clean that up is you wanna take 16, and you're going to combine these two because they are to, uh, no. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> Alright, you're going to combine some like terms. And 16 and 4 are like terms, which is going to be 20. And then you're going to combine a negative 4 square root of x plus 4 with a negative 4 the square root of x plus 4, which is going to give you a negative 8 the square root of x plus 4 plus x. And you want to bring down x minus 4. Now you want to kind of get clean it up some more. So we don't have any x squared, so we're not going to bring everything to the same side. So I want to get here, I want to take my x on to this side. So I'm going to minus x from both sides. And what happens is those x's cancel out, leaving you in a negative 4 equals to 20 minus 8, the square root of x plus 4. Okay? After you do that, you want to subtract 20 from both sides which is going to give me negative 24 equals to a negative 8 the square root of x plus 4 and I'm going to divide that by a negative 8 alright and then when I divide that by a negative 8 that's going to give me ah uh, a positive 4 equals to the square root of x plus 4. Okay? No, 3, sorry, not 4. Okay, now we're going to now remember I said if we don't get rid of the square root we have to do it again. 
So now we're going to square both sides again. Which take us to 9 equals to x plus 4. Alright, when you do that, you're going to subtract 4 from both sides. So that will give you um, 5 is equal to x. So we need to check. Alright, we need to check 5. Right. Alright, you're going to put 5 here, minus 4, plus square root of 5 here, plus 4, is equal to 4. Change colors. And this is going to be 5, 5. And 5 minus 4 is 1. And 5 plus 4 is 9. Equal to 4. And the square root of 1 is 1. The square root of 9 is 3. <coughs> and 1 plus 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. Sorry. Alright, so it checks. So 5x is equal to 5. 